In peacetime, it is the export of oil that keeps the harbour in Benghazi bustling and busy. Today, in strife-torn Libya, there is no oil going out, but there is still a sea of people in search of an exit. Among them are thousands of Indians for whom Libya was home. They are now waiting for a second homecoming. It's at this port that this Quersha prince has arrived to ferry its second batch of Indian evacuees. Some have been here for 10 days, preferring the comfort of the crowd, even strangers, to the fierce fighting they have left behind. Supervising the evacuation on an early weekend morning is this 49-year-old school principal, originally from Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh. As the Indian government continues to evacuate its citizens from the war-torn country of Libya, we come across Tabassum Mansoor, an Indian expat settled in Libya for the past 15 years, who has single-handedly charted out an evacuation plan for more than 2,500 Indians stuck in Libya. Rohit. 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 Foreign ministry officials, who themselves have now spent a fortnight working round the clock, say that getting Indians out of here would have been impossible without Tabassum Mansoor. With phone and internet services down, the main nightmare for evacuation plans has been the lack of communication. It was very easier for me to get the information regarding passport numbers and all we could get through internet but it was totally jammed and we could not. Crises have a way of making borders irrelevant. Many fleeing Indians tell the story of how they were given shelter by Pakistanis they did not even know. Tabassum Mansoor is married to a Pakistani and even as she sends people home, like a mother sending her kids to safety, Neither her nor her husband have any plans of leaving. With many Indians still stuck in the interiors of Libya, for these Indians going home, Tabassam Mansoor is a godsend and the kindness of strangers is enough to be grateful for. With Manoj Thakur and Ruby Dhingra in Benghazi, Prachi Butcher for NDTV.